We've got a few friends here at the table with us we'd like to introduce to you. I have my friend right here. They call him Mr. Chang. Don't you mess with him because he knows a good thing about cooking. Uncle, how long have you been cooking Chinese food? Uh, about uh, 35 years uh, before cooking from Hong Kong. That's awesome. And you, 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 you established the restaurant here when? Uh, by uh, 1982, May number 7. Until now, almost uh, 18 years now. Yeah. That's awesome. You guys have been for, for, for quite a while. You guys make awesome food. The service is great here. The name Kinwa, what, what, what does that mean? Cause I, I, I used to think, I passed by and I think, hmm, what does Kinwa mean? Maybe it means you leave me alone or um, great dragon. What, what, what does, what the, what does the, wedding, the name Kinwa mean? I think that is uh, because I get a partner. It's my brother-in-law, the name called Kin Sing. And my name is Wa Chung. This is I take the first, first, he speaks first walk and my first walk called Kinwa. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Also, we have your niece here today. Yeah, Lisa. I'm sitting next to Lisa. She is not only the niece of Mr. Chang, but she's also the manager. And uh, Lisa, you're going to help us out here because I opened up this menu and there's just way too many things in here to eat. Tell us a little bit about the food that you folks prepare. Well, all our food is basically really popular, all of them, but I can name certain dishes that are really popular to you, like our Chinese chicken salad, we're known for the dressing for that, our minute chicken cake noodle, which you guys will be um, get to try th today, woohoo! <laughs> and we also have other things, we have soups, we have all the, like the, our crispy gouji. Chinese New Year's is coming up on February 5th. Tell us a little bit of the uh, special foods that you're going to be preparing for that. Well, we have our um, jai, which is yes. our monk's food, which is all you know, vegetarian dishes so we always feature that only during the Chinese New Year oh, yeah. also we have the special Chinese mochi which is called gao and that's real good people always look forward to those two things during the New Year's Chinese New Year now whether or not it's a Chinese holiday or just any day make sure you come on down because you folks are open every single day for business true that's true though we open 364 days a year the only day we close is the day after Thanksgiving because I don't think people want to eat some Chinese food with their turkey <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't about know. That. you know sometimes the turkey is so dry I'd rather eat Chinese food <laughs> <laughs> sorry mom you can beat up Sam about that but you know we're ready to eat You're let's go mom. get them okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. These dishes look beautiful. Can you tell us a little bit about each? Sure. This is the fresh ubu which we feature whenever we have available. Now this particular dish is steamed ginger and green onion. But we also, if you like a different style, we also feature a sweet sour. Now this is one of the pot roast spare ribs that I was talking to you um, earlier, which is real good, that brown gravy. It's almost like the barbecue style, yes? And this is another special that we have. It's the walnut honey glazed walnut shrimp. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we have our sizzling platters. We have about six different sizzling platters, but this is the seafood combination, which oh, is yeah. real good. The minute chicken cake noodle, which is almost like a barbecue chicken. It's boneless, which I think most people like the best because it um, doesn't have any bones, deep bones. We have other dishes that's not listed on the menu, and this is one of them. This is our special ham and chicken. The chicken is cooked, then they debone the chicken. Then they place the chicken, as you notice, the chicken, then the ham. Then we put a white gravy over, and then once again, it's also garnished with choice salad. You know what you know, I've always appreciated is the fact that uh, the food, you can sit down and feed your entire family for $30, $40. That's what a lot of customers um, comment on. Our prices are so reasonable. We get like mixed plates for only $5 yes. and under. You know, so people, you can come like a party of 10, spend only like $40, $50. Where yeah, everyone's full. Yeah, yeah, everyone's full. And you, sometimes you even get leftovers. <laughs> you know, sometimes to have leftovers is good, right? Because that's the best um, oh, yeah. thing to have, right? Leftovers in Chinese <laughs> Better sound. You ready for eat? I'm ready for grind. Yee-hee! Quinoa chop suey and this beautiful spread fit for a queen. For a 
duck. I think I'm dinner. <laughs> this is my good friend Blackie. Blackie, cause what you guys is doing right? Oh, everything, man. Oh, all kind of food. If you look now, it's, it's just as clean as this table. It's gone. <laughs> I also got my good friend Ginny over here. But what, what did you enjoy today? Uh, special pot roast pork, fried rice, uh, lap chow. You name it, we ate it. The fish was excellent. The shrimp, very tender. Thank you very much, Lisa and Mr. Chang, and also the wonderful waitress, Susan, for the wonderful service. It was delicious. I couldn't believe I ate all this by myself. What a great meal. What a great time. Quinoa restaurant right here at the... Right I busted. <laughs> <laughs> Local guy cries. <laughs> I never eat all this food by myself, Karen. Okay?